Greetings, YouTube. Kudas here, and let us continue being not OP and chilling. And by that I mean, Muscovy is totally gonna get it. Oh, he's allied to Galicia Volhania. I'm sure that would like to return to Lithuania's belly. It'll be my pleasure to do that. Um, but how many troops does Muscovy even have? That's the real question here. Galicia Volhynia has 5,000 troops, it's nothing. And Muscovy has 11,000 troops out of a total potential of 24,000. Hmm. That's actually a scary stack also, Golden Horde. I don't really want to border that, but... Well, it's probably going to happen. Hmm. Alright, what do we do now? Do I attack Muscovy? I'm going to wait for my claims to be ready. The Teutons have rivaled us. Novgorod will not get access. I will core Tivkin. Because I'm not getting Twer, clearly. Hmm. So unfortunate. I would have liked to get Twer. He would have been a fine vassal. I would have eaten and spat him out to not be at war with this monstrosity, but... Uh, it would have been nice. Oh, the nobility still wants control of territory? Well, okay then. Uh, do I have more garbage provinces for you guys? Like this. This is a garbage province. Here you go, nobility. You can have it. Yeah, that takes care of that problem. Yeah, nobility's happy. Alright. Garbage orthodox provinces for everyone! How's the conversion going? It's going. It's actually going. I like seeing that. Let's go back to the map mode that tells us what's happening. Uh, we're not making any admin tech progress, unsurprising. We're gonna need to tech up military again, but tech 7 is a good tech. I'm okay with getting that. And I mean, I'm ahead of time anyway, because this guy is like, amazing. This guy needs to die so much! Die! Why am I losing money? Uh, rooting out corruption is half of that. Missionary maintenance is the other half of that. And probably if I fired an advisor, I'd be fine. But I like all of my advisors right now. I really kind of need all of them. 6.8 years. The conversion will... Uh, 6.8. The conversion should be done by 6.8 years. Hopefully. Hmm. Okay. What's my force limit at now? 19. I should totally build up to that force limit. I need two extra forces. I'm gonna build my force limit even though my economy can't fully sustain it. Build two horses amidst the lag. And then I can build three guys. Or well, two guys and I'll have a spot left for a value cannon. That'll be an 18 stack, and that will be sufficient to fight most everything. We'll have four horses, which is the maximum we want. No marriage with Brandenburg. Why is Brandenburg getting killed by Cologne, of all things? Still von Hohenzollern? Whoa, John Cicero. That's amazing. I want the king like that. Uh, how can I cut costs? Totally fired this guy, actually. As much as I liked him, can't afford him. And I'll be able to afford him even less once I have my army finished. Yeah, now that these guys are up... Oh, hey, Twer is... Oh, Twer is now a vassal of the Golden Horde. Well, that's interesting. I did not expect for that to happen. That's what I wanted to do. Damn it, Golden Horde. They don't know of me. Who did they rival? They rival Lithuania. Okay. Let's get our claim on Muscovy. Um. I want to say Rzev, but I'm probably gonna go with below zero. Or below zero. That's the best option I have because it's far from everyone. It's a decent province. 
and uh, yeah, it'll do fine. It will do just fine. Next step would be a perm vessel. That would be nice. A perm vessel that I would feed with step stuff. Okay, let's unite our troops. Have a claim on Belizeru. Torzok is the next in line. Okay, I want to kill something, but I can't kill anything with garbage legitimacy. No one will join me for wars. Like Denmark, I want to kill that, but... Oh, England would come! This changes things, and Oldenburg would not. England would come. I don't know how useful England would be. This changes things. Swedish Diplo rep is in the toilet. Why would England come? Oh, because England hates Denmark. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with hating Denmark. We can hate Denmark together. It's a great idea. Let's uh, get our other core going. Actually, I should probably stay peaceful for a bit, because I highly suspect that this will all explode very soon. There's a lot of orthodoxy being upset right now by my glorious Swedish uh, existence. Uh, let's send these guys over here. Okay. Yeah, I want to kill Denmark. I really want to kill Denmark. I have a tech advantage over them. I'm 80% ahead of time. That is so OP. I could run in there, use my tactics advantage, and shred Denmark. Probably should do that, actually. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Screw Muscovy. Yeah, I'll give you access. That way you won't coalition me, or, well, you won't at least attack me, probably. What are you at war with, Muscovy? Live on your order, Riga, and the Teutonic Order. Whoa! Who declared that war? Probably the ballsy Livonian Order. Attack against Muscovy in Livonian conquest of Ostrov. Ostrov? That's a reserve. Oh, Piskov! Oh, okay. Alright, fine. Suddenly I want to attack Muscovy. Let's core all this stuff and let some dust settle. And I'm gonna attack Muscovy. Because the Livonian Order will totally weaken them for me. That is a grand opportunity. The Novgorodian Separatists are coming. I expect about a 20 stack somewhere. I just know that's gonna happen. Yeah, I have a tech ahead of everyone. Muscovy or Denmark? Denmark is the better land. Realistically speaking, Denmark will offer the better land. But Perm would be a useful vassal. It would prevent Muscovy expansion in here, in Siberia, and I could get it. Uh, ooh! Centralization reforms. Or let things as they are. Reform and claim our lands. Gain tons of base stacks and base manpower everywhere. Lose points? I want my points. That's a lot of development for cheap. And centralization reforms until... Whoa! Until 1821! Wait, isn't that a DAC war? That uh, Doesn't that trigger the DAC war? Uh, I need to be Protestant and have centralization reforms. Uh, but I know that this usually ends really quickly. Sure! Let's do it. We have centralization reforms. This will make our autonomy sh like reduce even at war, which is amazing. This is actually really good. We have some corruption. What can we do? What can we do? The answer is keep converting this garbage. Novgorodian and whatever's gonna spawn very soon. We'll finish a bunch of cores first, though. That's gonna be good. And now we're gaining admin points. Siena has become a free city. They have their war goal. I can make a lot of people happy, or I can gain a diplomatic insult on the Vonian Order. Let's make a bunch of people happy. Not that it really matters, they all really hate my guts. Can't blame him, I'm a horrible person. But still, 
Well, Norway's apparently neutral to me. Yeah, if I keep eating here, all of the HR aggressive expansion will go down, allowing me to take more land in Denmark. I think Muscovy is definitely the best bet. And how many troops does Muscovy even have right now? 15,000 out of 24,000. He's burning through manpower and... Uh, oh yeah, there's his uh, 15,000 right there. It's not going to exist for much longer, I suspect. Lithuania is not even part of this war, he's just the battleground. Can I fire any of my dudes? No, I need both of these dudes. I could wreck my fort on my capital, or at least mothball it. I'll mothball my capital fort. This is useless to me. This will help the economy. The economy helped! Yeah. Okay. Scotland, want to become my vassal? No? Okay. Fine. Fine. Alright. Cores are finishing. It's fantastic. Rebels are coming. It's less fantastic. Um, this is going down as we're coring, too. Overextension is playing a really big factor in the unrest here. We have a lot of, like, state cores that are finishing, too. I'm excited for those. The Karelian cores are going to be delicious, even though they're all garbage land, that are going to be full stated garbage land. Ah, whoa, 22 development Stockholm. When did that happen? Pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, I don't have the admin points. I was like, why can't I develop that anymore? But it's the admin point cost. We finished a bunch of cores. And then we finished another core. Awesome! Provision on rest is down. Notaborg is also provincial on rest down. And I can't convert any of the other garbage either. It's so unfortunate. I want to convert all this crap. Hmm. That is very unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, Muscovy, you're gonna get killed. Down to 5,000 manpower and 13,000 troops. But, you're fighting back the Livonian Order. I kinda wanna fight the Livonian Order, actually. Instead of Muscovy, I kinda wanna fight the Livonian Order. They bother me, they annoy me. They think they're people. And that is just patently untrue. And you right now, it's because I want Ingermaland. And uh, someone has just taken it. Stupid Peskov. Are you winning your war or are you losing it? You're winning it, but not by much. Muscovy is lost somewhere in the middle of Lithuania. What ifs? How much war score is all of Muscovy anyway? 242%. Alright. That is manageable. In order to wreck Galenia Volsinia. Let's kill the rebels before we go to war. Let's wait until the Novgorodian separatists spawn. Then we'll kill them. All of them. Let's protect Tivkin and Torzok, which are these two provinces. Especially Tivkin. I don't care where else they spawn, but I will protect Tivkin should they spawn there. How long till they spawn? Less than a year. I can do that. My manpower is not full anyway. Okay. You're still alive, that's important. You're gonna die very soon, though. I need both of you guys, you are awesome. I also need this guy to die. That's also why we're attacking Muscovy. Because I like having more orthodox land that I can't do anything with. And that's not true, I will release Perm. And then feed it whatever else I take from Muscovy. That's the plan. Oh, money! That's new. That's unexpected. Must help that this is a this sees its autonomy going down. It's going to help a lot. <sighs> and legitimacy is on the rise, slowly through Pope powers. I need one more idea. And then I'll have another yearly legitimacy. 
And then I will become a legitimate king very, very quickly. Alright. Come on, Novgorodian peasants. Oh, there we go, 100%. Torozok and Lagoda. I expected the 20 stack. That's a lot of horses. I did not expect the 5 stack. Okay. Let's go save Torozok first. Probably won't work, but... Well, it's working. So what do I know, clearly? What do I know? I am shredding these rebels. Holy crap. Does it tell me if any... I want to know why I'm shredding them so much. I don't see my infantry combat ability. I have a tactics bonus on them. That they do not have. Oh, they have Novgorod's technology. Oh, that's why. Okay, that is why. Nothing else matters but the fact they have Novgorod's technology. And now that they have spawned and have been destroyed... I can go to war safely. Oh, hello, Lagoda. You can technically be converted. No, you actually can't. This is a lie. Because the culture is unaccepted. They just don't control it right now. That is why. Gone are these guys. Now we're going to spend the money replenishing this stack back to 18k. And it's also 6k drain on manpower. Fortunately, we have demonstrated our ownership of Novgorod. Do I still have a claim on any of that? I really should have one. Uh, build a spy network. Muscovy is up to 17k troops. He is not laying up. He is not letting up and he's not losing. The Muscovy is actually winning this. How? Oh, my claim on Ingermaland! No! I need this claim. Build Spy Network. Can I threaten this guy for war? That'd be hilarious, actually. That would be hilarious. Since right now he's losing really badly. Well, no, not through his winning. What happens if I threaten a war for Novgorod? You will not accept for none of this? You think you're more powerful? That's unfortunate. If I was to declare war, any of my friends come? No, they're all useless. That is unfortunate. Alright. We're about to take a loan. Let's fix that for a bit. We're gonna be very careful about that. I'd hate to take loans. Oh, Galicia, Volhynia, and Riga. Okay, there we go. Muscovy's army is getting absolutely trashed here. Okay. It was as I suspected. Integrated elites, which will allow us to have Perm as a vassal, which is our sole objective against Muscovy. So there are fort around these things. There is one at Yaroslavl. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, maybe we can put the economy here, so let at least these guys replenish a little. <sighs> Alright, and then we'll attack Muscovy. Still progressing nicely. We have saved the core. Corruption is not going up anymore, but it's at almost one. That's annoying. It's still a lot of overextension for one province. The Orthodox Zealots will, like, pretty much never spawn. The clergy is still happy. I can't. Oh no, not production efficiency. When can I make this again? In exactly a year. 
think they'll still be happy in a year, although I think this conversion will be done in a year. Uh, February 1475, yeah, if they're not done, they'll be almost done. Yeah, I don't think I'll need to give them a generous donation to finish conversion of Notoborg. Although I want, I, I need a pretty much a 1% extra conversion strength. Essentially what I need is a missionary strength advisor. And I could totally get an inquisitor from here if my clergy was uh, more happy. 11 November actually, and December, I'll have room. That is excellent. That is absolutely excellent. Okay, Muscovy is getting shredded at this point. He still have tw he still has tw 12k troops. Let's crank up army maintenance. We'll end up taking one loan for this war. But we don't care. We don't want to be paused though. Uh, yeah, 12k. That's, that's most of his army right there. Hmm. Yeah, I highly suspect that the reserve will fall to the Livonian order, and that'll be the end of his expansion, because now he'll border me and the Golden Horde. So he'll be max size, he'll take these three provinces, he'll be max size until he starts eating into Lithuania. Which realistically will not happen. Okay, Muscovy. Oh, Peskov is still your... Oh, well, Peskov will not do anything. Let's talk about the part where I'll take all of your land. Um, where's your capital? Still Moskva. Ryazan is not your vassal. I'm gonna go stack wipe that. Come here, my pretties! Yes! 20% less aggressive expansion. The Livonian Order will not care that I eat, like, all of Muscovy. Get thrashed. Oh, hello, 10k stack. Oh no, alienated novel. Oh, crap. Ouch. How long do I have before something else expires? Granted generalship in four years. Four years at two points a month. That is... 48 times two which is 96. Oh, I'll be two months away from... Wait, is that true? Because mm, 13 January. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, so... Yeah, I'll be a few months away from it firing, but it will not fire. Oh, 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 or I can reduce their excesses. Give them base production. Piss off the lord, the nobility, but buff the burgers. Okay, nice, nicely timed event. Thanks, event. Uh, I can ask for a check. That's helpful. I can even get some diplo power. I'll take the diplo power. Bye, bye, Muscovy. I'm gonna go to War Wargle. Actually, I'm gonna split you in half, and then I'm gonna go to War Wargle. And then I'm gonna want to probably uh, take Galish because it's blocking me from Perm. And Perm is what I really want. Okay, we have taken Volgoda. Hmm. If Moskva is being sieged. That's fine. How, many, how much war score is all of Muscovy again? Okay, it's almost three wars. If I was to do it on my own. Okay, stack wiped. Let me uh, detach. And send this. And here I'm gonna leave just the 1k. So I can siege that. That horse is in a really precarious position, but it's not gonna stay there alone. 
Once it takes Ustug, it's gonna run away. Oh crap, Volgoda flipped. So you're just gonna go to Volgoda and then go to Galish. And this army is going to come around anyway. Okay, the horse has occupied this. It can now come to Volgoda. Ah crap, there's gonna be a horse battle. Let's uh, leave the 3.3k and do this. The way this horse is going to die. A horrible, horrible death. There's a battle of horse versus horse. But we've stack wiped his horse. And now our horse is useless. So I'm gonna create a new stack, leave the horse behind. Gonna go back. Okay. You go protect this cavalry. Actually, just go to Istug. I am very interested in the Far East. That is where much riches exist. And once I think religious, everything will become Catholic or Protestant. We'll probably flip Protestant. I mean, Pope power is great and all, but I can't become. Actually. Since I'm gunning for Lion of the North, I will flip Protestant. That will just happen. And I'll look at Austria and be like, Hey you, Protestantism, yo. And I'll kill them. That's the plan. That is how the campaign will go. Mark my words. Let's go kill that infantry. We're gonna need at least one fort if we're gonna make any demands. Our truce with all of Crimea has expired. Stupid Crimea. Twinia, you're so weak right now. You've lost so much. Okay. Do you want access, Devonian? Go screw yourself. All of you. You all suck. You took my Ngurma land. How much do I need to fabricate a claim? 40. Oh, okay. We can fabricate a claim on Novgorod, though, that I know. Kolgomory is going to be delightful. Yes. Okay. Muscovy really doesn't want to be in this war anymore. Eh. <sighs> Oh, nice, there will be a battle. He's not going to be able to run from me fast enough. Yes. That is excellent. Hello, Muscovy. Oh, that's another fort that you're sieging. Why not? Okay, we've stack wiped this. You don't even have a claim on Hazev. You still haven't converted Novgorod proper. Slightly disappointing. <sighs> Damn it, Muscovy. Stop preoccupying things. So I need to drop the stupid fort. Uh, once this fort falls, I'll be able to just occupy these provinces and then forget about it. Hello, Muscovy! Let's do the battle thing! Ooh, I can take up and become even more violent in military. Hello, Muscovy. What happened to your armies? They have vanished. Vanished into the cold nothingness that is your country. Fantastic. We are not OP. We are just chilling. <laughs> Alright, now that's a lot of money. I actually have good economy. Did someone die? Yes, someone died. No, now he's plus two. Oh, I really want this guy. I can actually afford him somehow. I'm hiring this guy, screw it. Even if the economy is not on my side, I need him. I very much need him. So I will have him. Oh no, crap! What? What? Why is perm released? What? This is garbage! Is there anything else I can release? Nizhny Novgorod! Okay. 
I found my new target. I will feed Nizhny Novgorod. With all of this crappy orthodox garbage. Alright, and apparently I've reached the end of the episode. So I'm gonna build a spy network in here. I'm gonna get my claim on Ingermaland. And I'm gonna recall this guy. And then, I'll thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time, where we'll get a proper piece with Muscovy. See you guys next time.